Hey everyone. Uh, sorry it's been a little while. Lost my voice. It's coming back. You can kind of hear it's still a little uh, uh, squeaky. It's kind of funny. Anyway, um, last video I made was about designing something to a point. So I used several options, several tools that'll do that like through Curve Mesh. We'll do that in NX. Swept will do that. You, you can uh, modify how points align and so on. And I want to show you in V5 because I had a couple people ask me questions. And I've done videos like this in the past, but I guess it's a very important subject that really needs to be covered. Um, so I have a very similar setup to what I had last time in NX to show you that if I come in and do, let's say, um, multi-section surface, I'm going to pick this section, pick this section and you'll notice that I have my closing points and I want to make sure that my closing points align so I'm just going to right mouse click on closing point I'm going to say replace I'm going to pick this point I want to make sure the arrow is pointing in the same direction it does and preview as you can see the, the closing points always align always so that's why it's good to pick a hard point if you can make sure that the hard point uh, aligns uh, cleanly from one section to the next and as you can see here, these points no longer align as it wraps around. If I go into coupling and I try to do something like vertices, uh, you'll see that it fails. And the reason why it fails is because this has an extra vertice. This vertex here, one of these, doesn't know where to go. I'm going to go back into ratio, preview that. And with this, I have the ability to dictate how I want things to flow. So I can go from section 1. To section 2 and preview that. <clears throat> As you can see, it smooths it out. And I'm going to do the same thing again. That one to this one. I'm removing those nodes. And now, final, this last section doesn't know where to go. We can leave it here in the middle if that's what it's uh, what you need or what, what's required. You can throw a point in and adjust where one flows to the other. Or, in what I see in a lot of cases, is you'll see people do something like I want to go from here to here, like I did in the previous video. Um, same thing here to here, clean that up. And I get that wonderful result all the way to a point. And I've always said, do not model to a point. This is not good mojo. Uh, to prove that, I'm just going to simply extrude that face. So I'm going to come in here, pick, or I'm sorry, extract that face. Let me hide this. And as I look at this, I can, uh, you know what, I'll go into freestyle, show it that way. I'm going to convert that face into a freestyle surface. And as you can see, if I uh, up this, even Katia does not like to model go like that. Hit OK. There's my surface. Let me untrim it. Katia does not like to model two triangular faces. It parametrically made that surface rectangular. Okay, so it got rid of that. Now, if I come in here and let's go start and go back into generative shape, and I'm going to do an extrude. This one, reverse, hit OK. I'm going to extrude this, hit OK, and cancel. Now that I have that, I'm going to go back into my multi-section surface. Across section 1, I'm going to impose tangency. And that's fine. And across section 2, I'm going to do the same thing, impose tangency. It's saying I can't do the extract, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and reassociate it to the face that it needs to be associated to. So now there's my extract. I've made the surface a little more complex. Initially, as you saw, it was just a simple planar surface. Just went straight across. Now when I go back into my freestyle, and I do the same thing, pick that surface, yeah, convert it, you'll see here it's a more complex surface because of the tangency and positions, as well as now it's no longer planar. So the system cannot generate that nice four uh, sided boundary. It's a st it's still a four sided boundary, but again, at this point, as you can see, all of those control points bunch up into nothing, and this becomes problematic. So each system, Katia versus NX, does something a little different how they solved that problem, but the end result is still 
not so good. Uh, you're, it, again, the systems are incredible. V5 is an absolutely incredible tool, but it's going to do what you tell it to do. Garbage in, garbage out. So in this case, you're going to get something that is not, that's not so nice. So if you were to measure the radius of the surface, um, pick this and um, come over here. Let me go use min max. You can see I have this min max scale. If I zoom up way, 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 way up on this corner, it's going to spike. It's kind of hard to see it, but you can see it a little bit. It's starting to, it's starting to change and it gets further and further. Um, use absolutes. If I do something like that, now we're talking about absolute extremes, you can see where that absolute extreme is bunched up on the one side. All right, so um, we know that this is not a good scenario. Okay, um, if I go to, um, uh, you know, let me go to maximum and use my min max, and let me show, you know what, let me do. Show min max. There you are. You can see the min max are within a touching distance. That means that surface comes down to a crease. It's small, but any post process that you use this on, uh, the machinist that's going to program on this is just going to up the tolerance to wipe over that. It could cause uh, problems with joins, offsets. Offsets could be really, really bad because of this. Um, in some instances it may work, in some instances it may not work, depending on that, obviously that final shape. A lot of times if I come in here and do an offset, it'll probably work in this case. Eh, didn't. And I'm not going that far for it to fail, right? Let me reverse it, preview that, see, it does not want to offset. If I go to automatic smoothing, you'll see that it does do the smoothing, and it added, uh, added some... Uh, geometry it made the geometry more complex in order to do that because it's doing a local smoothing. If I do a global smoothing, you can see um, once again it does do it, but now I'm, I'm using a tolerance, I'm deviating. Uh, in some cases, that may be acceptable, all because I went to that point. Now, the, the right way to do this, once again, is and, and I showed it, uh, let me delete here, here, let me go to. Uh, multi-section surface. Actually, let me just delete that. Uh, delete this. Let me just go ahead and hide that. Um, bring this back. That's fine. It's just saying I didn't pick a vector. It's guessing one based off of the planarity of the thing. Um, I'm going to go into multi-section surface. From there, tangent to there, tangent, hit my OK. Now, hide that, let me hide that, let me bring back these two lines. I created a line over here based off of this line that was making that initial chamfer. And once again, I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm going to pick that. Um, let me go in this direction, reverse, pick that this direction that's good once again I'm gonna go ahead and do a I'll just do a blend in this one because I can hit my OK and trim so with this I now have that have that large surface that I can control the nice thing about something like this is if I come in here and I double click on that blend you can see I now have some controlling options for that now this is important um, I haven't really done many videos in hydroforming um, but with the certain hydroform parts that I worked in the past chassis and such this was important to be able to control how that thing uh, changed shape from one section to the next and this was a really good way you use a couple blends um, where this transition occurs from dissimilar uh, section sizes and uh, now you can control that using tensions so if I wanted to deform this or push the shape backwards or forwards because I was having some formability issues I have that now um, so you have more control over something like that as well so again do not use points avoid them at all costs thanks for watching if you like the video, please like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and share with your friends.